Cosmic Armor Superman, a being whose power eclipses even that of the Overvoid. This video we'll be talking about is the hierarchy of DC, and in theory, could Kaz strut up to one of the members, knock them off, and take their place atop the hierarchy? Well, it's a complicated answer. But you know what? Hey, look at that shock surprise, a comic topic that isn't complicated. Video, I will be analyzing the Silver City and determining whether Cosmic Armor Superman could reach the level of, say, Michael Morningstar, Lucifer Morningstar, etc. I do want to preface this by saying that I'm not trying to say that Kaz is over someone like Lucifer, however, I will be making an argument that he's on the tier of someone like Michael. Now, I do cover all of Kaz's scaling in this video right here. You should go check it out, shameless plug. Much better job of explaining it in that video than I do in this one. I am also aware that by making this video, I can't win. If I say Kaz is on the same tier as the Angels, Lucifer fans will get mad and vice versa, so I'm just gonna wing it. Now, to get started with this video, we must first establish that Lucifer Morningstar is greater than Michael. Once we establish that, we can then make the argument for Kaz. How do we do this? Well, to put it quickly, first establish how powerful Lucifer's feats are and how strong he is compared to Michael. Let's then establish how much more powerful Lucifer is than Michael. Once we establish that gap between the two archangels, we will then need to compare Kaz's feats to Lucifer's feats and decide whether Kaz would scale closer to Lucifer than Michael does. Once we differentiate that gap between Kaz and Lucifer and Michael and Lucifer, we will have our answer. <gasps> All right, let's get started. So thankfully, Lucifer and Michael have actually fought in the past, and although yes, it was close and it was a fairly even fight, Lucifer was still able to take out Michael in the battle. It's also important to note that this was not Lucifer, this was while he was under mind control. It means that Lucifer was having an entire internal conflict while having the external conflict with Michael making him weaker than normal. Later on, after Michael was resurrected, he took on Lucifer, along with another archangel that was equally as powerful as he was, Lucifer bodied both of them. It was also stated by one of the members of the Endless that Lucifer was by far the Presence's strongest creation out of any of the archangels. Lucifer is also capable of boxing up the Dark Presence. So, with all of this information, it's very clear that Lucifer is much stronger than Michael. So now let's talk about how strong Lucifer is compared to none other than the DC Cosmology. Once again, I talk about the DC Cosmology in full in my How Strong Is Cosmic Armor Superman video. You'll want to check that video out for answers. Lucifer encountered the source and just disregarded him completely, ignoring his presence. Now, this on its own would easily get Lucifer to beyond the source wall. However, by far, Lucifer's best feat is either inflicting his will or becoming the Overvoid itself. Now, for this feat, we would absolutely want to use the inflicting his will upon the Overvoid as this gets him above the Overvoid. So now that we've established how strong Lucifer is, let's see if we can't get Kaz somewhere relative to him. Now, you can also get Kaz above the Overvoid with this scan. The Overvoid is a sea of perfection, however, it has one flaw that despite its vast power, it cannot overcome. That flaw is DC. The divine metals of the Thought Robot have been infused with that flaw, meaning that no matter what the Overvoid tries, it will not be able to destroy Cosmic Armor Superman, getting Kaz above the Overvoid. Not to mention, even in an inverse match, Kaz's hacks are still applicable as he blatantly is stated to be able to adapt to any incoming threat. This is backed up by the fact that the story literally reassembles itself to try and stop Kaz, he still overcomes it. So Kaz also has similar scaling to the Overvoid, which is right up there with Lucifer's best feat. Meanwhile, Michael died to a Lucifer that doesn't scale to the Overvoid. I mean, you can also argue story Superman number one in DC. <sighs> I won't argue it though, because y'all aren't ready for that topic. Yet. So with the same scaling to the Overvoid as Lucifer, I can confidently say that Superman is maybe slightly weaker than or equal to Lucifer, meaning he is definitely stronger than Michael. Well, actually, Cluck, I, I, I think Michael's actually stronger than Kaz. Uh, I'm not going to get my reasoning, though. Okay, if you still don't agree with me at this point, we can say, okay, Michael is stronger than Kaz in terms of raw physical strength. Because Kaz's hacks are applicable to inverse scaling, he would just adapt. The gap would not be significant enough. So Kaz would still be above Michael in this situation. And he would still crack the top three. Hell, you could even make an argument he's above Lucifer with the story of Superman. However, I won't do that. Because this video is already controversial enough, if I make the claim that he's stronger than Lucifer, then y'all are gonna be on my ass. 
However, that about sums up my reasoning for why Kaz is on the same level as Lucifer Morningstar and why he is stronger than Michael. And that about sums up the video. Be sure to like and sub, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.